Hello, so this is just a quick video in Construct 3, uh, just about tile mapping. Um, so what I've noticed is that because a lot of people are getting tile maps from places like this, just find it. Yep, yeah, Kenny's. Um, so I've seen this site thrown around a lot on a lot of other videos online, on YouTube, all that sort of stuff. Um, and I've seen people run into this problem quite a lot. Um, so, for example, if I just decide to get one of these tile maps. So, tile maps um, are just a way of making building levels, building backdrops, building platforms much, much, much quicker than building and placing individual sprites. So, I've already got this pre-downloaded. Uh, obviously, just click download. Um, gets that as a zip file for you. Uh, so, what I did, I pre-downloaded that yesterday and i've got that unzipped here look ready just drop that obs window off and it comes as a pack with lots of different stuff in so you've got a little character sprite sheet you've got a level sprite sheet that's set up in individual tiles and then you have one where there's a packed version as well so you can drop them in as bigger platforms and i'll show you that in a second so um, as you can see, I've already got Construct open. I've already started doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a brand new project. So if I just go new, and I'm just going to call it Platformer. Um, I'm just going to do this in kind of a retro style. So we'll do an SD landscape 4.3. We'll do it in a 640 by 480 resolution. Leave it as an event sheet and just click Create. Uh, close my previous one. Right, so if I just zoom out now, what I want to do first is just set me layout layout up properly. Um, so at the minute, um, obviously because I did a six forty by four eighty, uh, what it's done, it's already like doubled that on the X. Yeah, it's basically doubled it horizontally and vertically for me, so I've already got that kind of a level. I don't want that. Um, so what I want is I want a 640, um, and I'm going to double that, so that would be 1920. So, oh, opposite way around. So 1920 by 640, and what we have is a just a bit of a longer level. Um, that I can build so we can start here and build something to show you right so uh, something to look at the minute is your grid size now by default automatically set to 32 by 32 uh, just keep an eye on this because we're going to come back to that in a moment so um, as we know from what we've already done in class last week when you right click insert new object all you need to do is just type in what you want we're looking at a tile map now what we have is we're just going to click anywhere just to drop that in i'm going to load my tile map i'm just going to go to my desktop where it is i've got it here look tile map i'm going to use the packed version of it right so if i just close that off and if i just bring up my tile map editor i'm going to drag that out and zoom in a little bit right so one problem that a lot of people will get into and i've seen this happen so if you click on your tile map if i go to paint it what you'll notice is what i've got doesn't quite match up with what i'm wanting to do so remember when we were talking about 32 by 32 grid size that's how it's set up so if I show you the grid, you can see this is how your grid set up for your pixels within Construct. So if I try painting any of this stuff, it just it just doesn't come across very well. So what we're going to do is kind of change our pixel size. Now, if I take this down to, I'm going to say 18. Spawn. So what I can do now, I can drag across a section of it and paint that in but it still doesn't quite work for what we want 
if you get what I mean. Because basically what we've done is because we've used somebody else's predefined sprite sheet, something that you've got somewhere else, um, it's obviously not going to match up with what you've got on here. What we have is we have a much higher resolution. Um, and these, these sprites are just not going to look right. So if I just show you another quick example... If I create a retro style, so we're going to go on a 30, 20, 320 by 180, I'll just call this one test and click create, uh, close project, don't save, um, I don't really need to save it with where I am, just close my tile map idea off and my layout idea for the minute. Right, so if I, I'm just going to do the same, I'm just going to go insert no object, I'm going to go tile map, oh, yeah, there we go, insert one of those, click, and I'm just going to quickly load the same thing again, I'm just going to load the same thing again, look, and if you put a grid on, you can see how it's going to look against ours, so, um, again, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this down, um to 18 again remember that's what it were um so then what we're going to do here is if i just go onto my tile map bring up my tile map editor so in view bars tile map bar then all we're going to do is if I just zoom in, if I just decide to select this, for example, now I can drop this in now as a full platform. And as you can see, because I've changed resolution, um, it kind of fits a bit better. So everything's a little bit bigger kind of thing. So, for example, I could then start dropping in some extra platforms here. Um, all you have to do is uh, you could select your water, start dropping this in, then a single block of water, paint this in here. Because as you can see, a lot of these, they're all tileable. Um, this is why I got you to use them last week and why I got you to use that site. Um, just because it's a little bit easier sometimes. Uh, what you can do as well now, look, is you can start to um, just make all these little platforms. Um, so I hope that's helped. Um, this is obviously what I want you to be, um, how you're going to, um, you should be building your levels really, um, if you're going to be building platformers, if it's just so much better, um, and it's a lot more efficient, um, if I wanted to build this, what I'd have to do is, as you can, you can see how quickly I've just made that, you can, you can literally see how quick I've made it. Um, it doesn't take two minutes at all. Um, if I was doing that with individual sprites, what I'd be doing, I'd be kind of going in certain objects, and then like we did last week early on, I'd be clicking on a sprite, insert, clicking on it. Then I'd either be importing an individual sprite or drawing one, going back, placing them individually. So, yeah, um, I hope that's helped.